So today, we have two massive men going head to head. Kingpin versus Bane. Who wins? Well, let's find out. So, born to serve the life sentence of his father, Bane created a super steroid venom that enhances physical attributes and gave him a nice healing factor. He can also continuously increase the amount of venom being injected into him through the tubes on his back, but if he injects too much, he might have a heart attack. But the more venom that is in his body, the more enhanced his physical attributes are, and the better his healing factor is. His average strength allows him to lift about 2 tons, <clears throat> but his max was 15 tons before he had a heart attack that one time. Um, and he's durable enough to the point bullets and blades only cause artificial damage, and he can fight virtually forever as his body doesn't release any fatigue toxins. Um, he's a genius, uh, desp despite his looks. Uh, he created this Venom, and he also found out Batman was Bruce Wayne in less than a year with little evidence. He's also an expert strategist and tactician as well. He's a formidable hand-to-hand -hand combatant using his enhanced strength, uh, endurance, and brutality, along with boxing, judo, and wrestling techniques, and grappling. Uh, while in prison, he was undefeated, and he's beaten practically everyone in the Bat family, including Batman in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. He's known as the man who broke the bat because he's the one who killed Batman by breaking his back as well. In the other corner, we have King Pin. Wilson Fisk is a criminal mastermind and has command of every mob on the East Coast. Despite his obese look, it's mostly raw muscle. He's like a 500 pound man of almost complete muscle. He's strong enough to easily crush a large rock and a steel chair with his bare hands, to kill a demon with one punch, and to punch Spider-Man through a concrete wall. His massive size can simply just overwhelm his foes, even people like Spider-Man, who is vastly stronger than him. He's tough enough to withstand getting hit uh, in the face with several weights, weighing 1,500 pounds. Uh, having a large building fall on top of him, and he gets back up after being shot in the back unfazed. And he's surprisingly fast and agile, being able to dodge bullets and even disarm a guy a few meters away before he could shoot. Um, he's also a very skilled fighter, as he's constantly training, and he specializes in sumo wrestling, judo, and hapkido. This plus his massive and his massive book and impressive agility has allowed him to best Spider-Man, Daredevil, and Punisher. I mean, the guy has even beaten Captain America and held his own well against Black Panther, two of the greatest fighters in all of Marvel as well. So, who's stronger? Well, Fisk is strong enough to crush a large rock and a steel chair with his bare hands, crush a man's skull with one hand easily, tear down a staircase with just his bare hands, to crack walls and floors with his punches, to punch Spider-Man through a concrete wall, and to kill a demon with one punch. But Bane is strong enough to push over a large statue, kill people with one punch, easily break people's necks with one hand, rip limbs off, easily break Batman's back, easily overpower and ragdoll Batman and Nightwing, and he's matched Killer Croc and even broke Killer Croc's arm with one hand as well. I'd say Bane is stronger, but Fisk will be able to hang in there since he's faced off against and beaten Spider-Man, who's stronger than Bane. So, what about durability? Well, Fisk has withstood being hit by a car with only minor pain, being hit in the face with 1,500 pound weights, having a large building falling on top of him, being shot in the back and just getting back up unfazed. He blocked three shurikens with his arm completely unfazed and punches from Spider-Man. But Bane has withstood barrages of bullets and stab wounds um, unfazed, massive explosions, punches from Batman with Superman's powers, and he even has a resistance to fire and electricity. He also has a nice healing factor as well. Bane's definitely more durable. Now, you wouldn't think that either of these two are fast and agile because of their bulk, but both are very fast and agile. Like Fisk has consistently dodged bullets, 
disarmed a man a few meters away before he could shoot, and he's tagged and evaded attacks from Spider-Man, while Bane has dodged a shotgun blast, consistently dodged or deflected arrows and batterings, and consistently fight against and beat more acrobatic people like Nightwing. So, but I'd say Fisk is faster though. So, Bane is stronger and tougher, while Wilson Fisk is faster and more agile. So what about skill? Well, both are surprisingly very skilled fighters. Like, Bane has beaten Batman, Nightwing, Green Arrow, Killer Croc, Man Bat, uh, and easily beaten uh, Azrael and Nomad simultaneously. But, Fisk has beaten Captain America, Daredevil, Punisher, Red Skull, Spider-Man, eight martial artists from the best schools in the world in 17 seconds without getting hit, and he done well against Black Panther as well. I'd say Fisk is more skilled, because Bane's fighting style consists of perfectly using his superhuman strength and durability, brutality, martial art and pro wrestling techniques, and most noticeably and importantly, grappling, like he's a world renowned grappler. But Fisk is consistently training to keep his skill up, and he specializes in sumo wrestling, judo, and hapkido. He's also good at using his massive frame to overwhelm his opponents. Uh, and you wouldn't think this would work against Bane's, but it's worked against Spider-Man, who is stronger than Bane. So, who wins? It's like, well, I gotta go with Bane because of his durability and healing factor. The guy can just withstand a shit ton of damage, more than what Fisk can dish out. Yes, I know Fisk has beaten Spider-Man before, who's physically superior to Bane, and arguably just as skilled as well. But Peter always holds back against humans, and despite his massive size, Matt Fisk isn't a superhuman, just a normal human. And it's not like the speed and skill advantage Fisk has are massive advantages at all. Actually, they're only slight advantages. It'd be a hard-hitting fight, but Bane wins. Like and subscribe, please leave a comment down below, and please hit the notification bell if you did enjoy and all that great stuff. Peace!